are on the platform for the last uh, Sean Plunkett show, Unchained of the Year. Uh, everyone's off for a, a couple of breaks. Don't forget, we're back on the 16th, Monday the 16th of January next year. And all the best bits, hours and hours, Paul's put together of uh, some of the, and I look back and I'm pretty proud of the stunning moments across all our programs that we've produced in the year 2022. And that will be playing on loop and replay. And of course, if you are a Platform Plus subscriber, which costs you next to nothing, you can download everything we've done. You can access everything we've done, load it into your device, into your phone, listen offline if you're off the beaten track uh, or somewhere where the interweb doesn't work so well. And I tell you what, the hits just <coughs> keep on coming. And I was rather glad to hear from uh, young Benjamin, my producer, uh, yesterday, that someone we had been talking about had actually contacted us and wanted to come on the show to talk about an issue that got a few of you going yesterday. The issue of gravestones, or more specifically, what is acceptable iconography or symbolism on gravestones in public cemeteries? And Porirua is uh, coping with an issue of uh, mongrel mob in this particular instance, mongrel mob um, symbolism on gravestones, particularly at Whenua Tapu, which I know well. I've got friends uh, who reside there, as it were. Um, and particularly the mongrel mob. Should gang members be allowed to put gang insignia on their headstones? And the person at the centre of this was a guy called Dennis Makaleo, who says it's kind of his human right to have mong mongy mob stuff uh, on his headstone. I disagree. I think most New Zealanders will disagree, but what are we uh, about at the platform? We're about having the discussion. So, Dennis Makaleo got in touch, and he joins us live on the line um, now. Dennis, welcome uh, to the program. How are you? Hey, yeah, kia ora. Um, Dennis, firstly, just a bit of background on, on yourself, mate. You are a member of the Mongrel Mob? That's right. And how long you been a member of the Mongrel Mob? Oh, since the 70s. Since the How old were you? Oh, a young fella. Started off as a junior member and then worked my way up to a senior. Yeah, okay. What does that involve doing? Committing crimes? Well, uh, what am I on this platform for? Well, I, we, we're on here to have a discussion, but I want people to understand your life and where you're coming from. Well, 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 what are you trying to say? Well, Dennis, I'm trying to figure out, you're saying that it is your right when, when you pass away and when your mates in the mongrel mob pass away, you should be allowed to put mongrel mob symbols and stuff on headstones in a grave, in a public graveyard, right? Yep. Why? Why shouldn't we? Because you're part, you're part of what is an antisocial criminal organisation that willfully well, and deliberately well, well, pulls well, well, the middle well, actually, finger... This is where you're wrong, dear. We're, we're actually part of historical now. We're history of abuse. Really? Okay. Yes, that's what we are. Okay, from boys' homes, from ball stores. Where were you You've from, created Dennis? created it. I didn't create anything to do with you, Dennis. I've never met you before. But, Dennis, well, tell no, us no, your story. Saying, your then. system created it. It's not my system, Dennis. It's as much my system. I, I get one vote like everyone else. I actually grew up in Porirua. Well, well, actually, hey, 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 what's all next door to all our headstones? Crosses. Yeah. Okay. Well, it did nothing but abused us. Were you abused, uh, were you abused in religious care, Dennis? Pardon? Were you abused in religious care? Who wasn't? Me. And lots of other people involved in the church. I'm just asking Can for a we straight just get answer. To the point? Yeah, the Should point we just is, get Dennis. To the point, what is right and what is wrong as the people of the land, Panga to Whenua, hey, what is right and what is wrong? Well, Dennis, what has Zieg Effing Heil, a dog wearing a German military helmet, and the swastika got to do with Tanga to Whenua? What's it got to do with it? Well, the original dog people in New Zealand were actually called Nazi Kuri. Mm hmm. Okay. And were they That's Nazis, the were they? But, well, they were Nazis. 
Well, what's the difference between a Nazi cross and, and, and a Christian cross? Well, quite a lot. Um, Christian, uh, whether in practicality they do or not, uh, Christianity is no, one no, of the dominant the religions of the world and it is founded on what's the idea the of peace, okay, love it, and brotherhood. It created colonisation, it created the whole damn thing. No different from anything else. Dennis, I, I just, do you understand that most New Zealanders, in fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the vast majority of New Zealanders don't see the organisation that you belong to as anything else but a criminal enterprise of people who terrorise others, commit crimes and show no regard for common decency. I'm here, I'm here uh, on here today to talk about our deceased, not the living. Okay, the respect for the deceased, not the living. So don't try and twist this all around. I'm not trying to twist it all around, Dennis. I well, think have you most... got a problem with us, how we want to represent... And, and remember our loved ones that are deceased. Yes, I do, Dennis. Today. Yes, I do, Dennis. If it okay, memorialises okay, so crime... Don't twist it. If it, don't if it, twist it. If, 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 I'm not if, twisting if I it. I'm telling you how it is, Dennis. We want to remember them. Who the hell are you to tell me what I can and can't do? You can remember in any way you want. Who the hell want. is anybody out there that can tell us what we can and can't do if we want to remember I our guess ones. we're the people you, you who pay the rates me? and taxes that keep the public oh, uh, yeah, cemeteries yeah, so going, do, we, do, you, do you want me to come on and tell you what you can put up there about your deceased and loved ones? Keep your politics, keep the way you Dennis, think. Dennis, I don't want to put a swastika hey, on my grave or anyone else's. I don't what are you want even trying to bring this into the cemeteries for? This is the door of our... our, 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 our our history of our death, of our dead, our deceased, not the living. Okay, well, let's look into the history then. I'm prepared to do that. So oh, we're, the dead or the living. So or who's, a different de show altogether. Who's, de whose decision was it, Dennis, to adopt Nazi iconography and symbolism in the patch a a a and the stuff around the mongrel mob? When was that decision made and by whom? Let's get into the history. What's this got to do with uh, what we want well, to remember? Well, you're saying it's all about your fucker. But you say it's all about your fucker papa and celebrating where you're from. So I want to understand well, where well, you're well, from. Well, why don't you tell me a little about the kings and the queens and Christianity? Yeah, well, okay. You, yeah, well, I don't know. Hey, you could read that from Russell's history, history of Western hey, of philosophy. Colonization, slavery, taking our, our voices away from us so we can be heard. Why don't you in our land and not getting anything? Why don't we talk about all that, Dennis? You're getting heard right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that. It's all right for you to ask me these questions. Yeah, it is. But why that's don't you ask all your own questions first, okay? If that's the road we talk because, yeah, yeah, we were abused and everything and that's the life we live. Okay. Hey, and after nearly 60 years, okay, it is part of history now. You cannot change the Well, history. I wish it was. Okay, um, Dennis, created. whose decision was it and why did the mongrel mob decide to adopt terms like Sieg effing Heil? The Nazi helmet, the swastika, why was that chosen? And who made the decision in the history, the rich history of the mongrel mob, that that was a good idea? And why did they do that? Well, what was wrong with it? It was our statement against society. Society was the way they were treating us. So you are an antisocial group. You're actually born out of being antisocial. No, 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 no. Times changes. We, hey, we, don't, we change as time goes on. At that, at that particular time... Yes. Okay, so you're now like what? The Rotary Club or the Freemasons? Oh, hey, why don't we talk about um, the headstones? Isn't that what I'm on here yeah, for? Yeah, so why should someone... And people because have literally... that's our Bill of Rights, okay? No, it's not. Why do you deserve a Bill of Rights, Dennis, when your entire organisation gives the middle finger to middle New Zealand and to decent society? Why should you, if you haven't earned it, and in fact, you've rejected it. It just seems to me highly hypocritical that people like you and groups like yours now go running for the law books when you've spent much of your life willfully well, ignoring yes, the see, criminal code, the dealing books, drugs, okay? raping people, burglaring, burglarising people we and terrorising people. Laws. What was that? Oh, yeah, we go back to hey, hey, George the Second, Queen the Queen the Second, the true partnership. Okay, so you get it right. We don't go crying back to the law. Ever been to prison, Dennis? Oh, what's that got to do with it? 
Well, I'm just saying this is rich, mate, from a group like yours. Yeah, Grabbing a lawyer is, and running off to the law. This is all to do with respecting our dead. Okay? If you don't know how to respect the dead, then who the hell are you? You can respect the dead not by using some imported Nazi we symbolism on the dead of the life that they lived. Well, I would say, and I hate to say this to you, Dennis, well, unfortunately hey, in the country we, you live in, should, should they are pretty miserable bloody all lives. The, all the white people that stole our land, should we start putting all that on it? Are you being racist here, Dennis? No, I'm not being racist. You are not, you are not listening. I didn't okay, steal any land off you, Dennis. Turn this all around. Dennis, I didn't steal any land off you. You know what I'm talking about. No, I hey, don't, When you actually. take everything off someone, you create a problem. When Who you create took a everything problem, off you, you, Dennis? you create the way they live. The way, hey, poverty, the whole lot. You created it all. No, we didn't. Or I didn't, Dennis. I'm just a guy. Well, people that are listening know how it was worked, how who created it. Okay, your system. That, that thing you call parliament. What do you mean my system? Built. What do you mean my that, system? Okay, that, 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 that makes legislations and laws that were... They Which you have no respect built. for, but you are happy to use because oh, you hey, have hey, some hey, macho I'm idea of what being staunch is. Say, listen, I'm on here that we've got the right to remember our loved ones on headstones and, 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 well, and, then and get your own and cemetery. Out of the Why don't you buy your own Urupa? Why don't you do it on your own land instead of people being scared? Because you stole the fucking land. I didn't, Dennis. Hey, I well, didn't, why Dennis. Why you say my land then? No, Dennis. Where is it? Give our land back. What land, Dennis? Could you define the Give area? Give the land the... back that was taken, okay? We're, we're, we're yeah, we've got this massive land. system called the Waitangi Tribunal that it's in the middle of doing just that. Oh, uh, what? 150 years later of abuse and you want to know why that's the oh, way a Dennis, lot of Dennis, is anything out? ever going to be good enough for you? I didn't pick you as a Maori activist. More as just a criminal gang member. Well, you, 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 well, you just, just shows to show you don't know what you're talking about. Well, so okay. Dennis, yeah, you, you, you know, you talk about the words that people want to hear. You don't, you don't know our backgrounds. You don't know what abuse. You don't know nothing what the system done to us. So that is an excuse us. for you okay. to live the life you've lived. Hey, I'll live the life I live because you know what? I don't, I don't agree with your laws. Well, but you're okay, going to use them the the to land. fight for your human rights, Dennis. That is so uh, hypocritical. Yeah. Yeah, but see, I, I, I knew coming on here you were just going to twist it all around to get everybody phoning in to all upset everything. But at the end of the day, this is about respecting the dead at our cemetery. Nothing else. Not what the about wives, other people's not, not dead, living. Dennis? What hey, about no, the no, people who are too scared to go about. to their loved ones' gravesides? Well, what's abusive? What's abusive? Oh, I Is guess the there was a, I, I read a report, I think, in the paper that there was a, a funeral there and your members knocked over other gravestones near the one that you had. I mean, I think by your own plot of, plot of land, you can do what you want on it. You can put whatever silly headstone with a swastika on it you want anywhere. Well, didn't we buy that plot up there? Uh, yeah, you bought a plot inside a public, a public well, well, facility. Well, well, be careful what you're talking about, then. But, but you tell me. What's offensive for a bulldog? You tell me. A Everyone's bulldog, listening, what's offensive? Because it is a symbol of a group that terrorises people and breaks the law. Okay, okay, now, now, now tell me the, what's the symbol for the cross that's on nearly every headstone there. You tell me that. The cross is a Christian symbol, right, which signifies self-sacrifice. Hey. It signifies self-sacrifice. It signifies the it crucifixion well, of God, that God um, gave his first son so that others may live, and he took the sins see, of see, others yeah, upon that's himself. That's where your brainwashed, eh? That's where your brainwashed. It's colonisation, OK? Dennis. You're telling me it's not part of colonisation? I'm telling you it's not part of colonisation. I'm telling you. Well, what, oh, well, 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 everybody's listening. Of course it bloody is. They did not take our native tongue off us. So, yeah. Uh, no, Dennis, we didn't. No, no, come we on, didn't. you answer the question. No, Dennis, actually, we didn't. A, a large number of Māori oh. were, keen, were keen that Māori uh, be taught English so that they could get ahead in life because you of the system. You know what, it's really good how you can come on. Yeah, yeah, well, you're wrong, okay? And everyone that's listening know you're wrong and what Christianity do. So for you to start telling me the abuse of what we wear, what our religion is, mm. hey, it's do called you like freedom of religion. Do you like Nazis, Dennis? Of religion. 
It's yeah. freedom of religion. At least you can tell me the difference. The Mongol mob isn't cross a religion. A it's a conspiracy of crime. And, and, listen, and the white man's cross. Don't start debating who we are. And you start figuring out who you are. Oh, dear, Dennis. Oh, well, dear. So well, I'm just trying to figure out. So do you, do you like the swastika? Do you like what it represents? Did you, do you like what the Nazis did? I actually love what the German sign represented before the Nazis got it. Yes, I do. It means peace. When the Indians had it, when the when the when the Chinamen had oh, it, so it's why do you use the term and turn it all around and make their own story? So why do you use the term Zieg effing Heil so often in the Mongol mob? Because that would seem to be quite clearly Nazi associated, not the Hindu, um, you know, beforehand. Yeah, Sanskrit. Well, sorry, there were places the same reason why you used the um, Christian Christian cross. I don't, I don't use the Christian cross. I'm agnostic. Oh, well, in fact, well, uh, anybody atheist. else that's going to ring in, maybe they do. But oh, I Den don't know. Dennis, I don't know can you see, can you see that, that, that using Nazi stuff is really offensive to people? Really offensive? Yeah. Yeah, but we, 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 we've, we've talked about this in 2012. We're not putting no more German uh, signs and, and, and seek fucking hell on the headstones, if, you, if you're following what us. What are you doing? You're just putting SFH, for, so code for Zieg effing Heil. Well, you know, people go to the Uda Pass to look at their loved ones. They don't go there to look at everybody else's and start judging like you. So, Dennis, where is this at legally? Where is this at legally is that we're waiting... We are waiting to see if they can use the pre uh gang insignia that was brought out for only government buildings, nothing else, if they can use it in the Uda Pass. All right. I'll be honest. I hope they say you can't. Well... Uh, you use the tax pad, you're going to charge hundreds of thousands of dollars again like in, in Wanganui. Hey, you got to remember who pays for this bill. But you know what? You worry about your loved ones because we we got we, we got respect for your loved ones. No, you hey, don't, Dennis. You deal, drugs, you deal drugs. You deal drugs. You got headstones. no respect for anyone else. We don't go else. to the cemeteries and look at other people's headstones hey, just so we can come out of there hey, and be a person like you. We go there and show respect. Hey, regardless who but they are, what no they are. But you show no respect for human right or dignity, Dennis. Okay, Look at you how you dress. It all around, you've got a problem. You have. You've got a real issue. We are part of history, and that's it. I'd love you to be part of history, Dennis. I really, really would. Um, look, I but thank I'm just you. you know, you know, we love your loved ones. We don't mind what's on there. No, as long as so you can sell them drugs or exploit them, yeah. And, or whatever, or whether or they're murderers or, 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 or whatever. We don't mind what you put on them. You know, good on you, because that's what it's all about, how they live their life. Not how you telling us how they live their life. Just just leave your politics out of the Uru Pass. No, no, it's just if human, you don't know it's how just to human do that, decency. You know, look at your own self. Look at the kind of person you really are. Mm. All right, hey. Dennis, can I say, um, despite all this and perhaps the, the uh, confrontational tenor of our conversation, thank you for making contact no, and thank you for coming on. No, and I wish you. you, though I do not have no idea what the Mongol mob does for Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey, and I wish everybody out there too, and I hope to see them all up the cemetery tree where they go and show their respect of, without any politics going in the gate. All right. Thanks, Dennis. Have a good day. Yeah. That is Dennis Makaleo from the Mongol mob in Potirua. It's all my fault. I must have nicked some land off him somewhere.